What's up, Internet? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome your boy back to actually recording the video. Um, yeah, man, it's been a hot minute, and by hot minute, I mean probably a month and a half since uh, the last time I actually recorded a video. Smash like for repeated uploads. I have no idea if I can do that, but uh, going to try to resume regular uploads um, and recording the videos. I have plenty of content. I'm just haven't felt like recording videos. Anyway, not much else going on here. Just want to talk about some product. I guess first I should probably talk about the uh, literal microphone in the room here. Yeah, I got some uh, new recording devices for uh, your audio pleasure. It looks as though that uh, I've got some stuff planned here in the future. We're not going to get into that at all right now. Anyway, let's get on to what we have today. We're going to be looking at Castelli. Today is a Castelli spring summer haul. And I guess we can take spring out of it because I think we're almost in the summer. I don't even know when summer. When does the summer start? I have no idea when summer starts. Maybe we're still in spring. I don't know. I should also note that this is the second time I've recorded this video. Apparently, I no longer know how to do these things. Uh, I did not record video. I did not record audio on the last time. So the reason why I'm saying this is most of these packages were already opened. Um, so I'm unceremoniously just going to hang pieces of Lycra up in front of the camera that have already been taken out of boxes and packages uh, and talk about them. First up, we're looking at the Climbers jersey, specifically the Climbers 2.0 jersey. Super light, extremely breathable. Pretty much it's designed for summer weight riding, extremely thin. A lot of what the material is being done these days is looking just like this. Kind of sits just off the skin. Normal three packets on the rear, no grippers on the bottom, just a standard hem. I did not get black on this one. I say that because every almost every other jersey I get in this haul today is going to be black. Next one up is the Velata 2 jersey. Similar idea, arrow, extremely light. We're looking at uh, laser cut sleeves, extremely sheer laser cut sleeves. You can see through that. Same thing with the fabric, you know, very dimpled and, you know, looking extremely thin and sheer. Always like the details. Their zipper is amazing. Details along the bottom, traditional black and red, not just the logo, but also this big band on the bottom with a little gripper along the edge of it. Keep everything in place. That's the Volata 2. Last jersey I got was the Espresso jersey. Uh, again, you know, another Aero jersey. This one's made of a little bit different material, um, a little bit thicker than the other ones. Still race cut, nice gripper bands along the bottom. This this time the details in, uh, is in black. I think the main, the main focus on this jersey was just a little different uh, feel and uh, a little bit different uh, cut. They're all Aero. Everything is Aero. No club cut. Moving on very quickly, starting to get into some of the shorts. First up in the mid shorts is the Premio. <laughs> These are the deluxe models, the top of the line. Main details on this short are, you know, virtually seamless construction. I mean, I noticed right away when I'm holding this that the gripper bands on this are extremely aggressive. Lots of vertical stripes there. It definitely covers a, a lot more surface area in terms of grabbing your leg. Laser cut, almost all black on these things in terms of uh, the details. I think the one thing that's most interesting to me and something I definitely want to test is the pad. Their Progetto X2's Air Seamless Pad it looks fantastic. It's extremely squishy. Uh, I mean, it's not the. T it doesn't feel like the traditional foam. It almost feels like it has a little bit of a gel rebound to it. So this probably is going to be really nice on long distance rides, uh, aerated, and so you don't actually get extremely hot and sweaty down there. It probably helps out with uh, uh, any kind of irritation that you have from riding for hours on end. You know, areas like here. This is like I love this. Uh, the material here. It's super strong. Yeah, I'm excited to try these out. I have never tried a top end Castelli short. I had some of the Thermo Bibnickers uh, this winter and the pad was their basic pad and the pad felt really good. So I'm really interested in seeing how that stuff rides. Next one up, they just released this one here. This is the Aero Race 4. Comes in a nice box. Basically, their deal here is 12 years of development and refinement, over 1 million kilometers of testing. We've made subtle but important refinements. The seat pad has been updated with softer, stretchier, and totally seamless top layer. The leg gripper is also stretchier and grips better. To finish it off, the bib straps are now both lighter and more comfortable while giving better support. That sounds like a premium pair of shorts there. Quick details. One of the main things they're talking about on here is the little dimpling on the side. Making you super aero. Uh, unfortunately, I am massive, and um, any aero benefits that this product provides, um, I will defeat them soundly with my girth. Man, this feels really good too. This is super light. I mean, you can see the how, how thin this is. I like holding things up and showing people how thin things are. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, this one also uses the Progetto X2 pad. Same thing there. Really looking forward to uh, testing these guys out. Got these all in large. I would highly recommend if uh, you're not into ridiculously uh, tight clothing with uh, extremely tight uh, compression that you probably want to size up for most of Castelli stuff. Most of the race cut things are, you're going to be on the, I would, I would just say size up. Also got some accessories. 
Got some gloves. First off, we're looking at um, these guys. These are the cabrios. Focus on arrow, minimal uh, minimal construction there. Definitely a minimal um, palm, although the palm is extremely tactile, uh, super grippy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's the rubber is really grippy. Uh, not much padding at all. I like the padding. Padding feels good. I have very soft hands, and I need all the help I can get. Speaking of all the help I can get, these are the Rossa Corsa Espresso Gloves. This, on the other hand, has all the padding. Padding here, along the top, underneath of the fingers, along the palm for your ulnar nerve, and even a little palm pad is there as well. These look really interesting. I'm looking forward to these a lot. Not that I'm looking, not looking forward to the other ones. I'm definitely gonna try them out, but like I said, I like the padding. I also got uh, two base layers. I got the Pro Mesh Sleeveless. And the Core Mesh. Now, the one that I was really interested in trying is the Core Mesh. Um, they do something a little bit different with their base layers. They use this kind of like tubular construction that gets the fabric off of the body um, while still doing all the job of a, uh, of a base layer. The cooling effect, uh, I had ridden um, one of these before from the Winter Hall. I just rode it the other day. It works really well. It wicks, it does all the job that you're supposed to. Uh, when I unzipped the jersey, it was just like this blast of fresh air. Uh, it's kind of amazing that uh, it worked this well. So. Super stoked on having these in my uh, in my arsenal. And the Pro Mesh Sleeveless is kind of like the same thing that you're seeing a lot of people put out these days with that uh, that real sheer, real thin material. You know, kind of elevated. There's a little bit of a texture there that gets it off of the skin. I think the main thing for this one is um, the colors. I mean, it's definitely kind of nice to have a little color underneath as much as I like just a regular white base layer. The colors are really nice. That's kind of a cool thing to have there. I got one more thing. I have no idea if I'm gonna fit into this. I got a large. But as I said before, I'm very big and Castelli's products are usually very small. So hold on. They sent me the San Remo speed suit. I don't know if I'm going to fit into this. Regardless, I'm going to try to fit in it. So we're looking at, this is their top of the line skin suit or speed suit as the case may be, um, however you want to say it. Main details you're looking to be looking at are the X2 Bergetto pad, the same thing as the other bib shorts that I was just showing you. You know, full on arrow sleeves, um, extremely long arrow sleeves, laser cut. Also, we're looking at, I think one of my favorite things about the really high end skin suits. I mean, not to say that like some of the other ones aren't high end, but if I do any skin suits in the future, one thing I definitely want is the ability to, I mean, not only have a full zip here, but I want the zip to open up. So if you look at these things, they open up at the bottom and then it opens up just like a regular bib short. It makes it easier to pee, but it also is easier to get in and out. That tension that you have on like the regular bib shorts, um, or the regular skin suit, even the one from Castelli, the one I rode first year uh, 2015 when I started racing cross with Matt Alchemy, um, that was their, their cross skin suit. Zips all the way to the bottom, but for some reason or another, I just seem to like to open it up and it feels more like a jersey. It kind of flaps around if you need to, to cool yourself. I just like it. Details, uh, other cool things on this, since it's a road racing skin suit, um, pockets on the back to carry stuff, um, black and white striped details here that are really nice. Same thing that shows up on the leg cuff, uh, the leg gripper. And speaking of the leg gripper, again, with that same silicone, that same surface area that you're gonna get with the other shorts, that looks like it's really gonna stick on the legs. But that's about it. I shouldn't say that's about it. That's a crap ton of um, product that I'm gonna be able to test here. You see anything in there that you like? Uh, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think about the products that I have here um, or your past experiences with Castelli. Um, like I said, I've never really full on ridden their summer stuff and I just got their winter stuff before, so that's not a lot of testing. Yeah, let me know what uh, any questions that you have about the products that I have here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, smash that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully a lot sooner than this one.